Warm weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Candace King. Winds are coming down a bit from the gusts we had from earlier today from the west and northwest. And as the sun does set this evening, we'll continue to see that wind speed uh, drop a bit. Skies clearing for us, and that means our temperatures will drop back too. We're at 46 in Rockford, 42 in Freeport, Monroe, 45 right now in Janesville, and 43 in Rochelle. 44 for our weather watcher Jim this last hour had a couple of flurries come down this afternoon, and a dew point temperature of 17. So it is very dry out there, which is why you might have noticed as we've had some of the rain and snow showers come down, maybe some of those not actually reaching the ground as they were able to evaporate just a bit. And what's been kind of neat to see are those clouds really building up from the sunshine we had this morning to those cumulus clouds and more of convective type showers coming down and even a little bit of Virga. You see some of that here on our Mercy Sky Track camera out of the Poplar Grove Airport. That's where the rain comes from the cloud, but it actually evaporates before it reaches is the ground because it's moving into a drier air mass. As we go through the next couple of hours, the coverage of those scattered rain and snow showers will continue to decrease, just as we've seen here the last few hours. There's actually been accumulating snow up to the north with some snow squalls that have come down and really dropped the visibility and then out over Lake Michigan. But high pressure moving in for us tonight will clear out those skies. Downfall to that, though, we've got another night where we see those sub freezing temperatures freeze warning going into effect once again for all of northern Illinois this from midnight tonight until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Through about 9, 10 o'clock, we'll hang on to a couple of those clouds as you see us clearing out here by tomorrow morning. Just a few wispy clouds moving in for the afternoon. Actually should be a fairly pleasant Earth Day as temperatures climb into the upper 50s for tomorrow. So we'll begin that warming trend. We'll clear out again at least initially Thursday night. Might see some patchy frost early on, but then the cloud cover does come back in. So Friday morning, we are going to wake up with the clouds. As we head mid to late morning, chance for some showers to come in. System passing to the south of us will allow a few of those lighter showers to work in through the noon hour on Friday, and then some lighter activity as we head towards the afternoon and then into the evening. Same story again on Saturday, but once we get into next week, that's when we'll actually start to see those temperatures warm. In fact, we go from a low of 27 degrees tonight to a high up to 77 by next Tuesday, and that's because we get a big ridge of high pressure building in. In, which will really allow those temperatures to warm. And initially, we are going to stay fairly dry. But as we warm up, that also means we've got that potential for a little bit more active weather and could see that take shape once we get into Tuesday, next Tuesday night, and then into Wednesday with some showers and thunderstorms. Could be some heavier rainfall mid to end of next week. So 27 degrees for tonight, again, with that freeze warning, cover up, bring in anything that you need to keep and that may be a little bit more sensitive to the cold. 58 for tomorrow afternoon should actually be fairly comfortable. Now with the cloud cover and the rain, we will see the temperatures fall just a little bit for Friday, back up close to 60. Saturday, Sunday, 71 degrees on Monday, 77 next Tuesday, and then 73 in just a week's time. Three days in a row of 70. We're going to hold you to it, Candace. Looking Thanks. forward to that. Scott's in next with sports. The Ice Hogs have had